Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're all doing marvellously well. Today we're going to continue with where we left off in the last episode of the steam engine build. Right, so the pin. I've got some 20mm EN8 bar, which I think should uh, should be alright. See how much we got sticking out. Oh, we can go in a little bit. That'll do us. It should be 20. Yeah. 19.85. Right, so off this this face, I'm going to work backwards. So we need to come back, come back forty two. That's forty two. managed to get was a, a blooming dyno M12 dyno so we'll have to do it with the old banner started oh look at that beautiful uh, give it a check Bearing then the bush oh. another couple of turns on the old another couple of turns somewhere there I think. right so well now I'll now cut this pin down to length. Obviously, again, I'll have to do it in the saw, and then we'll finish the end of it up. Quite impressed with that. Looks quite smart. Right, there we go. So, the head we've got about 1.6 there to take off.
Well, Lewis. Right, so here is the pin. Just finished turning. It's come up really nicely. And that goes in there, so that's that's the bush. Sorry. So that's the bush that goes on there. So we get that. That's what we're after. And then the bearing, which is it's a 2201 2RS bearing, which is a self-centering. Obviously sealed as well. So that goes on first. Well, obviously once it's pressed onto the, the connection bar to the, the pony wheel. Uh, then that goes on. And then we have a nut. As you can see, the threads are sticking out at the top. I am going to have a look and see what difference a washer down here is going to do. Uh, I'm just thinking if anything ever ever went wrong, I don't want the pony wheel falling off. So if there's a washer down here to catch, keep it from, you know, sort of retaining it. So that's what that thread there is. It's so we can put a washer down here. But as you can see, it's got the the play and you can clearly see once the once it's pressed on it's not going to touch the floor right so i'm going to put this boss in now in here it sits in there now i've decided i'm going to uh i'm going to tig weld this so what i need to do first is just where this circle is and hopefully that comes up on the camera that circle See if you can see them. Uh, this circle here, basically I just need to clean the black away from the edge of that circle so that we get a good a good neat weld. Right, so just clean the black off so we can get that boss in now. So we'll get it tacked in and then we'll uh, I'll get it welded. So that's that in. So we'll just let that cool and then we'll get this bolted back onto the frames and then we'll uh, we'll get these stitch welds on. Right so there we are, it's now installed. I'm just going to put a, a weld there, a weld in the middle and a weld there. So we'll get it all tacked up. Bit of the old auntie's batter. It's not the best one in the world. Let's go!
That'll hold it. That's not going anywhere. I'll just give that a quick clean with sander. Going back to the pony pivot and bearing, obviously that goes in there, then the bolt goes on the other side, like so. And then obviously we've got a bar that will then come back here to the rear pony wheel that's right back here. And then that will be able to turn left and right and also it'll have that, that play so the, the uh, pony wheel can rock side to side. So there we go, that's the Tinkerbell month of November done. I can't believe that in really in such a short space of time we've gone from bits of plate and bits of angles that were all over the workshop to something that does resemble a steam locomotive chassis. It's, it's brilliant, it's fantastic. I really do hope you've enjoyed the month of the Tinkerbell. I hope it's not disappointed. I hope you've been able to see how I've got this far. Hopefully you've been inspired to maybe have a go at building a steam engine yourself. Maybe not this size, maybe a little bit smaller if you, uh, if you don't have the room and the facilities. The world's your oyster. You could uh, build a, a traction engine, a road lorry, anything. Just hopefully you've been inspired. Obviously, if you do like what you see in the videos, please do click the like button and that will help it spread around a bit further in YouTube. And if you've not already, and I know a lot of you have over the last month, so thank you very much. Please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video. And with that said, there's only one thing really left to do. Yes, let's go find some more bits to make. Laters.